All right, here we are today with some buggy action for Chupalicious. He wants to see he's his favorite unit in the game. He wants to see mad buggies. So we're going to make a lot of buggies. We're going to open buggy. We're going to try and double boost our buggy. It's going to be all about the buggy today. That's what today's video is all about. All about the buggy. We're going to go buggy. We're going to buggy rush this guy. That's what we're going to do. That's how invested I am in the buggy plan. Here we go, boys. Hopefully this works, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna sink a lot of money into the buggy rush. Oh, scarabs, you fool! Scarabs can't fight the mighty buggy. You tried to scarab rush me? <laughs> yes, let's go! <laughs> buggy O P A F confirmed. Get out of my game! <laughs> All right, our buggy rush was successful. We did win the game. However, we did not kill a harvester, which is my goal. So we're gonna buggy rush again. Look how fast the buggy is. Just zoom zooming across the map. Oh, I almost can block his harvester. The buggy is so fast. Nobody expects the buggy. That's all I'm gonna say. Nobody expects the mass buggy rush. Yeah, you better run. Mass buggy rush coming your way. Get him, Bugsters, get him! It's actually not doing enough damage to kill the Harv. I'm gonna make a bike squadron to actually kill the Harvester. But know that I'm disappointed, chat, that I had to make a bike squadron instead of a mighty buggy. All hail the buggy! It's gonna be close. Are we gonna get it? Looks like we're not. Oh, it's gonna be so close! Ah, oh, no! Alright, we're gonna get it now. It's fine. You can block. Woo Let's go! We're gonna use our money to make more buggies! You know it! <laughs> we could make a hard, or we could make more buggies. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get first. We probably should make a harvester now, though, for real. That probably is the play. <laughs> Buggy and a gun! Man, harvest is so expensive. How am I supposed to build buggies if I'm spending all my money on harvesters? Look how many buggies we've made this game. This truly is a game that the buggy council would approve of. Uh oh, air. But buggies be air, my dude. Are you new? <laughs> buggy shoots up, my guy! <laughs> <laughs> Are you new here? Oh, another half kill for the Bugsters? Oh my god. <laughs> the greatest game of Rivals that has ever been played right here. Yeah, the Buggies! <laughs> Feels good, man. All right, we're gonna go buggy first again. We're getting close to the point where we stop going buggy first, though. Like pretty soon, we're gonna have to go. Uh, we have to go harvester before buggy. All right, let's get the buggy rush going again. It worked well last time, right? Oh, if I can get the block, that'd be insane. Oh my god, I got the block. That's so strong. Buggy power. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, the block is such a big deal. Because now we don't just lose on economy to the lasers. And he spent 60 on the harvester, so he's, he's broke because he spent all his money on half. Oh, buggy rush! The buggy council approves. You think I'm gonna let you harvest? Come on, bro. Why would I do that when I can just buggy all day? Buggy, buggy, buggy. I'm just gonna put a buggy on each each Tiberium spot on his, on his uh, side of the map. What are you gonna do now, snapper? <laughs> What are you gonna do now, my dude? <laughs> buggy hype! Oh my god, what a beating! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I feel obliged to point out at this stage that in the beta, buggies were way stronger than this. Buggies were actually like better than this. They would like beat pipples and bikes and tanks and stuff if you got enough of them. Um. So yeah, look at what I'm doing here and just know that this is not even close to how bad Buggy used to be in terms of like balance. Buggy under gun! Look how much money I have! 
I'm gonna base kill with buggies. <laughs> he can't even. It's not even like there's levels relevant here. We're all level 10, man. You can't even blame levels. This is just straight up mad buggy power. Oh my god, what a savaging. I kind of feel sorry for this dude, you know? Like, imagine losing your base to, bag to buggies. That's just so crazy. This guy's definitely leaving a one star review on the Google Play Store. Or maybe the Apple Store. <laughs> it's a buggy blowout. <laughs> Well, I've control. only made bikes and buggies so far, right? That's like the only units I've made this game, like this run. Okay, I don't think we can. I don't think we can quit the buggy first strategy yet, given how successful it's been. Oh my god, am I gonna block him again? Oh my god, dude, get wrecked! <laughs> Oh, bro! <laughs> How does this keep happening? Oh my god, what a savaging. How does this keep working? This is insane. Is the buggy actually just overpowered? Is that what we've learned today? This guy is also locked out of the game by buggies. Wow. Unreal. Actually unreal. Just gonna make a line of buggies across the map. <laughs> An unreasonable game this has been. <laughs> Look how many buggies I have! <laughs> oh, this is glorious. This is the best buggy day ever. It's truly the crowning glory of, of buggies. Never has the buggy overperformed so much. I kind of like the idea of this like horizontal line of buggies, so I'm going to try and continue that. See how many we can get. I've only got five at the moment, it's not even a crazy amount. The buggy council now has a seat on the United Nations. <laughs> buggy hype! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Buggy's too strong. You are victorious. If you're making a buggy video, God bless you. God. All right. I feel like we have to stick with the buggy opening. Like, given how well it's gone so far, we have to do it. At some point, it's going to stop working. But the for benevolent now, buggy. For now, we're going to keep it going. Uh oh, this guy is. This guy actually responded correctly. This is the first person who's responded correctly. By getting the militant and the laser stacked up together like this, he gets to basically trade the laser and the militant for a buggy, which is like an even trade. This is actually a good response. Like, if we, if we kept doing this, he would eventually win. Oh, wow, he's gone tech switch. Huh. That, I think, is wrong, potentially. Maybe. We'll see. Like, this allows me to go harvester, and because he's built a war factory, he can't go harvester. So now he has to kill my harvester, basically. Like, he has to use the fact that he doesn't have a harvester to pressure my harvester. But, and I need to defend it. And if I can defend it, then I'll win. And if he manages to kill it, then he probably wins. He might just kill it, to be honest. Maybe I shouldn't have gone half. Yeah, it's not looking great for me here. Not finishing off that missile trooper squad means that he is in, uh, in good position. Yeah, he's going to kill my half and have both buildings open. This is the first person who's responded appropriately to the... Uh, to my, uh, my buggy opening. This is why buggy opening is not actually good, by the way. Like, look how much I got crushed here. Maybe I shouldn't have made the harvester, but the barracks, like the barracks with the war factory, is going to beat my just war factory. So either I have to switch to barracks as well, 
or I just lose that fight, generally speaking. So now we have to just play the game behind, basically. We lost a missile and we're behind, and we have to see where we go from here. I definitely need to switch into barracks, I can't keep using buggies, they're not a Oh, I have fanatics, don't I? I forgot I have fanatics and not, uh, not riflemen, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, we'll get the fanatics. Get bikes to with them. He should not be going after my harvester anymore. That's a misplay now. Wait, he has wheels? Why would he not open wheels if he has wheels in his deck? That is insane. Like, he opened... He opened the... Uh, rifles. Why would he not open wheels if he had wheels in the deck? That doesn't make any sense at all. Inferno? What is this deck? I have Phantom, that's gonna be probably too slow. Yeah, this isn't looking great. I don't agree with my opponent's decision to open... Um... Yeah, I don't agree with my opponent's decision to open Militant, but... Whatever. That was not ideal. We get the Phantom now. I will shut down the Inferno at least. I need my Phantom to not get hit by his Phantom. Nice, that went well. I just block and we should win this missile. Alright, and once again, Harvester kills, to the surprise of everyone, do not win the game of Command and Rivals. Although I am a little bit broke now, so I'm in trouble for sure. He's walking into fire, so I don't mind here, switch. We still have our we still have our phantom alive. Which could be a big deal. Yeah, look, this Phantom can still go attack this Inferno, even though it's very damaged. A lot of damage, now we just need, like, anything to finish it off. Let's see if I can get this bike to shoot it. Nope, sadly not. That would have been a really big deal if that bike had shot. Nice, that one shot. That's good. That's really good. Oh, hello. That is too many Infernos, I would say. Oh, it shouldn't boost. If you boost, it dies in one Phantom Volley. That's a misplay. We should get tanked for these bikes, man. Man, this game has been pretty close. I did, uh, I did get really far behind early on, so it's not surprising that it's been close. Okay, I think we've won. He lost too many Infernos. Oh, they're, way, they're really expensive. He got a lot of money from um, from killing my harvesters, but yeah, Inferno's too expensive. You can't lose that many of them. All right, nice. That was tough. Okay. Enemy base destroyed. Alright, I'm going to go hard first now instead of buggy first. Um, at this point, I believe we are deep enough in the event that buggy first is no longer going to blindside anyone. We're not going to fall for it. The last game showed that, like we got really far behind by doing it. So I'm going to go hard into buggy, which I think is perfectly fine. Hard into buggy is okay. Like it's a little weak, but like as long as they open barracks, it should be good. If they open war factory, it's not that bad still because you have like bikes plus buggy for fighting their war factory. It's worst of case, worst case scenario is if they open dogs and then they have pit bulls. Because like this is fine, right? If he goes pit bull here, I go tank. That's fine. Because he had to switch. So the pit bull is late. If he'd gone dog opening and then he goes pit bull, the pit bull beats the buggy and the bikes. Which means I have to go tank. I guess maybe that's okay. It depends how long it takes. It depends how long it takes to get the tank. I'm not 100% sure how long it would be. So he's gone into jump jets. Fine. We're going to go into fanatics now to stop that happening. And we'll have the tank shoot the pitfall until it dies. 
And now I get to play Fnatic Tank, which is like one of my favourite things in the game, honestly. Um, assuming he's- oh, hello. That is weird. I don't think you should go APC there. You can't go APC when there's a- wait, he has dogs? Why wouldn't you open dogs? This looks like Bike Rock APC, but I must have missed loads, because you're meant to open dogs in that deck, like, every time. You shouldn't open rifles in that deck. Uh, and you also should not make an APC when there's a tank on the field. Like, that is a misplay. You have to, like, clear out the tank. I guess, actually, maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to think about it. In Suzaku APC, you would not make an APC with a tank on the field. But with Bike Rush APC, you kind of, like, need... Like, the APC is your way to stop things like Fanatics from walling you out of the game. So maybe you have to make an APC. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't actually... I thought it was a misplay, but now I've thought about it some more, I'm not so sure. When I, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, actually, maybe I do the same. It's not great, though. You don't really want to play against Tank Fanatic when you're playing Fight Crush APC. That's like the worst matchup for you. And if you do end up in this matchup, which is obviously where we are now, you go Talon Jump Cat. You don't, you don't really want to play APCs, you just play Talon Jump Cat. Which is kind of what he's trying to do now. He's spamming the talons, so it's too late. Yeah, I think he might have misclicked there. I don't think he meant to go with rifles first, because it's so much worse than dogs first in that deck. Mission accomplished. Half. What half half to say? I don't really know why the bikes go before the buggy. I guess it's because that's the order they are in the like unit list. If you like go to the units, you'll see bikes before buggies, I guess. I don't know, it's weird. I feel like bike should I feel like buggy should be here and bike should be here, but I don't know. Okay, so he also opened barracks, which is good. He's doing the right thing. This is what you do against buggy opening. You go laser and you get the laser and the rifleman to shoot the buggy. And it trades. Like you see here, it trades. So then you trade a laser for a buggy, which means you're up 10 Tiberium. And then you take it to bike. Yeah, this is exactly what I would do in his spot. So everything he's done so far is is uh I would define as correct play. Then he probably goes another bike. Yeah. Makes sense. I don't want to get 2v1, so I'm gonna back up. I'm okay with him shooting my three man bike, and then this buggy can fight this bike, that's okay. Obviously I'm slightly behind in this bike mirror. Well, I have more money than him because he's built a second building and I haven't. So I'm going to be able to make this tank and he's going to still be stuck on bikes. And then the tank is going to beat all the bikes. And then he's going to have to go laser and then I'm going to go Fnatic. And then I'm going to win the missile. That's my prediction. That's the laser. Here's the Fnatic. We do have to hang out on this pad for long enough for the Fnatic to arrive. And now he has... Now I don't know what the rest of his deck is, so I don't know what he does next. Oh, Shade. Okay, that's that's probably the best thing he can make here. That's like the hardest thing for me to deal with, because Tank Fnatic will beat pretty much everything else. But Shade is obviously insane, you know? Oh, oh, this is not... That is not how you, you want to move your Shade, dude. That's not like... Yeah, he needs to make more Shade. Like, Shade is by far his best unit in the matchup. Shade, if you're against Nod, Shade is your best unit, always. Like, there is no other unit that is as good as Shade in, the, in against Nod. It is just the best unit in the game against Nod, I think. I'm gonna go Phantom, because I actually need a Fnatic first. I'm gonna go Fnatic, then Phantom, because I need to be able to kill Cat Ships and Shades quickly. Especially Cat Ships, they're fucking nightmare. Alright, I'm gonna let the bike go, I don't care about him. I want another Fnatic. There's a Stealth Tank, that's fine. Stealth Tank's not that good against Scorpion Tank. It's still pretty good, but it's not like insane or anything. The fact is the Shade is what makes the matchup go in his favour, if anything does at all. Like, that's how he wins this game, is, uh, is Shades. You think I'm just gonna let you kill my Phantom? Come on, bro. Reasonable. Alright, we're looking pretty strong now. He didn't make any shades, like he made one shade this game. And then he made a bunch of cat shades, but shade is what he actually wanted to make. That was the unit that I struggled with the most. You are victorious. All right, gonna open the buggy again. So far we've been pretty lucky and our buggy openings have run into militant openings a lot, which is like kind of what you want to see. 
Like, worst case scenario is a bike. Like, if someone goes bike first and you've gone buggy first, that's obviously horrendous. Militant first is, is good. We're happy with Militant first. Okay, whatever. I don't care that much. I'm not gonna chase your goddamn militant around all day. I don't know why I made bikes. I, for some reason I thought he was gonna have bikes and I saw lasers and I made my own bikes and it's like, well he hasn't got bikes, so... I don't really know why I made bikes. Is he double half? He is. Okay. Bring this guy down. He boosted that laser as well, which is nuts. We're definitely going for now. Take now. Wow, look at those lasers. I didn't even get a single shot off. Oh my god. He's got annihilated once they uh, once there were two buggies on them. Okay, so he is double halved, so we do need to like kind of win the game in a reasonably short time frame. I'm gonna get this tank and try to harass his halves. I was really hoping he'd kill at least one fanatic there. Okay, boosted. Boosted Banshee, you say. It's pretty aggressive. We need to be charging for sure. I don't think we're going to be able to keep this tank alive, unfortunately. Maybe, just about. Ooh, nice. We did. Oh, come on, man. Right at the end. That is really bad for me, because if I still had the tank, I could fight this Widowmaker, but I don't. I have to wait for a new one to arrive, which takes ages. It requires him time to get another tech unit. Although I'm not sure what he could make. I guess Cyborg would be worst case scenario. Alright, we're just gonna flip him here and win the game. GG! There's the Cyborg! Too late! Too late! GG, 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 all right, Harvester. What is this? What do we think this is, chat? I hope it's a rifleman or a... Yeah, I guess I hope it's a rifleman. That's what I'm hoping for. It is dog. That is unfortunate. I'm going to try and stall. I need time to get to my scorpion. Yeah, there's the pit bull, so I think we just back up and go straight into Scorpion. And then if he has jump jets, we're really far behind. Actually, maybe not. We have this buggy. Maybe it's fine. There's the jump jet. The buggy on them. We want to switch into Fnatic for a little short of cash and get this time. This tank should beat this pitbull, it's still pretty healthy. Jump gets too strong! Ah, oh, so close, so close to killing that dog. Yeah, Jump Jets are crazy good. This looks like Bike Rush APC, so we're just going to have to fight against Tal and Jump Jet forever. Which is really unfortunate, because that's obviously something that GDI a lot just sucks against. The buggy is actually decent against... Yeah, here it is. It's just, it's just Bike Rush APC. So this is going to be a tough matchup. The buggy might be good though, because it does beat the Talon. It, like, it's okay versus Talon and Jump Jet, so... The buggies might actually be our saving grace in this matchup. Like, his anti-vehicle his anti -vehicle is um, Pitbull and... Uh, the other one. His anti vehicle is Pitbull and Jump Jet, both of which we can deal with. Uh, I need a Phantom. I need, uh, I need to be able to build a Phantom. If things go wrong, I need to be able to build a Phantom at short notice. I need to kill this turret for sure. Okay. 
I don't think I need a fountain yet. Oh, and never mind. If he flips me here, we're in trouble. Palom spam, too strong. Nice. The buggy did take it out in time. That's huge. Yeah, the buggy is kind of like our best unit in this matchup, weirdly. The buggy, buggy beats both of his fast flying units, which is what actually kills us in the late game. Because we're just going to be playing like tank. We won't play like tank and fanatic, and that loses to the jump get talent. Because we need to make uh, we need to make bikes against talons, and then they do, they die to the jump gets. The buggy does not die to the jump gets, and it does still kill the talons. So the buggy is a big deal. APC, I don't care about. I need this tank to die so I can get a new one. We'll still pop camp at some point. This phantom is also like useless now, and I have enough money that I don't care about keeping it alive. Okay, I think we got it. Nice! Buggy OP. I had 400 Tiberium at the end, I should have pulled my half. It wouldn't have made that much difference though, because it doesn't fight the talons that go on the pad. Like, that's the problem. Like, putting a harvest on the pad is okay, but it doesn't actually fight anything that goes there. Alright, here we go, last game, half into buggy. We definitely haven't been able to do any more like buggy cheese nonsense. And we've been reasonably lucky with our openings. That last one, we lost the first missile, and it was because the opponent opened War Factory, which was really difficult for our buggy to deal with. But so far, almost everyone has opened Barracks, so the buggy has been fine. What's he going to do? It looks like he's going straight into bikes, so I don't see any lasers coming out. So I'm going to back up. Buggy should have free vision. It's kind of insane that it doesn't. Oh, he didn't go late. Oh, there's the bikes. Okay, so we're going to go tank. So he went a second rifle and then tank bikes. A bit weird. I don't really want to make another buggy, to be honest with you. This one buggy is all I need to cover these, uh, cover these guys. I'll get some out here. Alright, cool. Now he probably goes air, if he can afford it. Like, that's what he needs to do. Maybe I shouldn't have made this Fnatic, because he's like, oh, hello, there's a tank. Alright, nice. So we're going to play a tank mirror. I love tank mirrors. And I have Fnatic blue, so I'm, like, heavily favoured in said tank mirror. Alright, nice. If he has tank, he might not have, like, shade and cat ship, in which case we can just win with Fnatics and tanks. I'm going to commit to it, and if we get punished, then so be it. Don't kill my tank! No! What did I just say, dude? I literally said don't kill my tank. Why would you then kill the tank? That's the one thing I asked you not to do. Can I get double boost? Yeah, nice. Double boosted tank! Let's go! Oh my god, double boosted tank so strong! Shuggy! Uh-oh. My tank is way too far away from my fanatics. I don't think I'm going to lose them. Oh man, I love Scorpion. <laughs> I really like playing scorpions. I'm gonna move this buggy over because I don't want a damage buggy holding the backpack. I'm gonna have bikes hold it instead. Oh yeah, this game was kind of a kind of a stompins. Beetle's amazing. Buggy and gun. OP. I meant to build buggy at the end to celebrate, but I could miss late and build another tank. Ah, so many buggies. I don't know how many buggies we made this run, guys, but it was definitely a lot of buggies. At the start, we made a lot of buggies. We had a lot of fun with buggies there. Seeing how many times I can say buggy before the video ends. Yeah, buggy OP. Alright, buggy council approved deck and video there, chat. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.